Hello everybody and welcome to Dr. Chad's video blog of the week for the week of August 30th, 2010. Oh gosh, have you ever wondered what happened to those ancient civilizations like the Egyptians, the Mayans, and the Aztecs? They seemingly vanished uh, into thin air, but they left behind some pretty important architecture and symbology. Well, I tell you what, get ready for this coming Monday, August 30th. 2010 at 1 to 3 p.m. because we have an amazing guest. I'm really excited, really excited about this guest. His name is Dr. Mark Gray, and he is the co-author of a book called Freedom's Gate with uh, William Henry. And uh, these two have written this book about the symbology in our U.S. Capitol. And uh, even so much as the fact that they've gotten this book, uh, they're getting this book introduced into the Library of Congress. And, and uh, a lot of people are coming to Washington, D.C. these days and you know, searching out these symbols. Well, the, the, the Capitol Guides are utilizing their book as reference to all these different symbols that uh, have been uh, placed in our nation's capital. Well, this gentleman, he is a symbologist. In fact, basically, Dan Brown, you know, the Da Vinci Code and the Angels and Demons and the Lost Symbol. His character, Dr. Robert Langdon, played by Tom Hanks in the movies, was patterned after these gentlemen's work when it comes to symbology. Yeah, so it's going to be very interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to be exploring uh, Dr. Gray's work when it comes to symbology and health and human healing. What were the ancients trying to tell us about, well, our health and human, uh, human destiny, our, 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 our potential? That's the topic that we're going to be exploring with Dr. Mark Gray. And tell you what, he's a great guy. I just had a conversation with him this morning. So this coming Monday at 1 to 3 p.m. at Des Moines Amplified.com, we're going to be talking to Dr. Mark Gray, an investigative symbologist and... He's also a chiropractor. <laughs> you didn't know that, huh? Well, I tell you what, this guy is remarkable and uh, we're going to have a conversation like you've never heard before. I can't wait. So tune in to Des Moines Amplified.com next Monday from 1 to 3 p.m. What else are we going to be talking about? Well, I tell you what, um, the common cold, well, the common cold virus is used to fight cancer. What? Yeah. And also, we've got, um, do you remember the debate between me and Dr. Koslow? And he, he was talking about um, the use of the Nuremberg Code and how it didn't apply to, to vaccination and informed consent. And he was, he was all upset that I would even bring up the fact that uh, Joseph Mengele didn't care about informed consent. Uh, getting my point across, well, I have in my fingers right here, my well-adjusted hands, well-adjusting hands, uh, a document from the American Association of Physicians and Surgeons. And uh, they have a resolution concerning mandatory vaccinations. And I quote, whereas safety testing of many vaccines is limited and the data is unreliable for independent scrutiny, so the mass vaccination is equivalent to the human experimentation and subject to Nuremberg Code, which requires a voluntary informed consent. Booyah! There you go, Dr. Koslow. So your own uh, colleagues from the uh, American Associations of Physicians and Surgeons has come out on this topic. So um, also migraine sufferers. Did you know that you have a higher risk of um, suffering or dying from uh, heart disease and stroke. What does chiropractic have to do with that? Well, why don't you tune in and get some inside knowledge because I tell you what, migraines are my most favorite thing to, uh, to uh, get involved with, people with migraines, because uh, we can turn that thing around for them and they can start living a higher quality of life. So I've got a lot to say on that subject. Uh, not to say that chiropractic is a treatment for migraines, but when we get the body working as it should, the migraines shouldn't be there. So uh, could, that, uh, lessen, uh, could that lessen heart, heart disease and stroke? Well, yeah, there's studies that suggest that chiropractic lowers blood pressure. Interesting. 
Well, on that note, not much else to be talked about, but I tell you what, if I didn't tell you about this stuff, who would? You gotta tune in because this is gonna be a lot of fun. Dr. Mark Gray, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. So um, he is an investigative symbologist. He's also a chiropractor. He's written the book called Freedom's Gate and that uh, details all of the uh, symbology that going on around in Washington, D.C. You have no idea. You have no idea. If you've read uh, Dan Brown's book, you're gonna have a little bit of an idea. But we're gonna be looking into the symbology of health and healing on Monday's show. So tune in and we'll have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Dr. Chad Rolfson, and if you're looking for a chiropractor in the Des Moines area, give me a call, 727-4000. Thanks.